Let's say you're visiting a friend in Europe and they tell you that you need to travel 14,322 centimeters and then take a left. Problem is, your car only reads kilometers. Um, so you're going to have to do a couple of things. One, you're going to have to convert these centimeters to kilometers. And two, you're going to have to find some better friends. So let's look into the unit conversion thing here for a second. You can treat every unit as a fraction. So when I have a unit of centimeters, I can just treat that as centimeters over one. I need to start by setting up my first conversion factor. Let's say for some reason I don't know exactly how to get from centimeters to kilometers um, in one straight shot, no worries. I can set up multiple conversion factors. Uh, I do know how many centimeters are in a meter. So currently I've got centimeters up top and I need to get rid of those because my final answer does not involve centimeters at all. That means I need to have units of centimeters in the denominator. Um, numerator and denominator variables cancel. And I know how many go in a meter. So for every one meter, there are 100 centimeters. Now I'm going to stop right there for a second and just look at this conversion factor. One meter and 100 centimeters are exactly the same thing. This is important because I don't want to change the distance that I'm traveling. My friend gave me very oddly specific instructions. But I do want to change the units. So by having different units, but the same value on the top and bottom, all I'm doing is multiplying this number by one, and that doesn't change its value. Um, so right now, I'm able to cancel my centimeters, numerator and denominator, and let me take a look at the units that I'm left with. I've got a meter up top and nothing else. So this will get me to meters, which is great, but not where I ultimately want to go. I'm now going to have to convert from meters to kilometers. Once again, with this new conversion factor, I'm essentially multiplying by one, because one kilometer and a thousand meters are the same thing. Um, but I'm doing so in a way that gets rid of my unit of meters and leaves me only with kilometers, and that's what I want. So now I'm done, and I can just run through this calculation. Uh, this one's particularly nice, because the metric system just involves factors of 10. So I need to start by dividing by 100, and then I need to divide by 1,000. So to divide by 100, I can just take my original number and move my decimal place twice to the left. One, two. Now I need to divide by 1,000. That involves moving the decimal place to the left three spaces. So one, two, three. And I end up with 0 0.14322 kilometers.